now see back with another installment um, as you can see the A979 is coming together really well um, in this one we're going to install the 110 conversion kit that I've got so I can put 110 wheels on we're also going to be fitting bearings so hopefully it will run smoother um, and everything will be good so in the kit you get four new nuts and bolts sorry four new nuts and the dry shop ends 110 conversion kit where this is all the same size rather than being reduced and some hexes 12 mil so we have two for this side two for this side big bearing for in here small bearing from the outer side so what we're going to do is we're going to try and get all this done hopefully nothing will go dramatically wrong um, he says optimistically Right to who? So, what we need to do is throw it across the room. We need to put the bearing in the front hub, like so, making sure that the dust seals on the outer side so that you can't get any dust in. So drop. Then there, nice smooth bearing there, and then we have the smaller bearing, which will be going on there, and then that allows you now. I should have got these out before I started doing this really, but it allows you to fit these. Wow. So, I can't fit these while it's on the stand, for obvious reasons. But, if we, if we just put that on there, like so for a minute, and we pop the bearing back on, like that and we get a hex pin which is in this bag like that and then turn the bearing to the side pop on that pin pop the hex on like that then we should be able to fit these wheels. There we go. So we'll be able to fit one ten wheels and tyres, which is going to make this grip a lot better. It's going to just be a whole lot better. I'm, I'm so looking forward to this. It's going to be such a good, a good trip. We've also got ooh, some new dog bones to go in there, in there, like that. Um, we are going to try at some point to fit the come on think of what what they call them tie rods so that's a seven mil so I spin that get that on obviously 
so it's um because we ain't got the tie rods on but there you go 110 wheels lovely so we need to do the back one so big bearing on big bearing on the shaft pop it through and I've got to say that these bearings in these hubs are single handedly the best fit I've ever seen they slot in uh, the 144001 um, don't fit very well they're not great they're um, in fact they fit rubbish but I'm going to take this wheel off just while I get all these hubs on so do is I'll put that knot on there I'll pull that forward I'll take that pin out so I don't lose it and put that shaft out and we'll work our way around so same on this side we'll get the bearing big bearing onto the shaft little bearing pop through we'll get a nut just to hold it in place and that one's done same with the front one we'll get bearing tilt it to the side push the bearing in Turn it back, shaft in, tilt it up, get the nut, and there we go. So, what we've done is we've now fitted a 110 conversion kit to allow you to fit 110 tyres and wheels, so you could go with foams, you can go with rubber tyres, you can go with the drift wheels, you can go with any wheels you want now rather than being stuck with these with 7mm hub hexes um, I can't knew they are, they're not even been worn you go back in the box, they'll, they'll live forever um, yeah, so next video we're going to be doing these tie rods I'm not going to set up all the camber but we're going to do it and we're going to fit them and we're going to get it these tied up so I can start putting the wheels on getting the camber right um, if you like what you see like and subscribe check out my other videos check us out on Facebook at Big Beard RC um, big shout to Andrew WL um, off the Facebook page he's been um, helping me out with a few things recently so yeah right I'll leave the video there see you in another video have a good day, everybody.